Greetings internet. Today we'll be doing a quick install of a Stern Bill Acceptor power cord. On it's for the Spike 2 system era games that don't come with this cable. Now here is your connection for your bill acceptor. It's got the nine insert connections there, female. You can use a 12 volt bill acceptor. Most of us have 110 volt bill acceptors. So what we have to do is we have to run this cable from right here all the way through to the head of the game up top. So you take your apron off. There's two hooks. One under here, one under here. Two hooks that you unlatch. Pull it out. And then when you pull the glass out, you want to uh, pop all the balls out. Right there, you just pop the balls out one by one uh, take all the balls out on this game it will be all six balls on all modern sterns it is a H95 key that goes in there you want to turn the game off whenever you do anything inside of the game so you just pull the front panel down and then the translite comes comes in and out. You pull that out. Side note, most are accustomed to the service outlet being uh, in the bottom front right area of the game. This is where it is and your strength spike too. Right over here and it is always on as long as there's power going to the back of the cabinet. And the nuts we are taking off are right there. Uh, it's a nine millimeter we take off right there and right there as well and that is where we plug it in so I got one I'll do the other I forgot to put a take a little video of inside of there I slapped it in and put it back on but um there's a little you can tell what to plug it into because it's the opposite of this and it'll have a uh It'll have this on there. It'll have a connector already plugged in. So you unplug this out of the connection in there. And then you plug one in. They're both the same end. And then you screw it back in place. And this is keyed. Keyed means it's uh, it only goes in one way. So the ridges go down. It only goes in one way. And then you run the cable downward. Um, I always just run it to the front and then down you can do whatever you want but I just run it to the front and then through there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the whole cord down here and then and then put it down there put the front panel up pull the play field up so we can run the cable underneath and then plug it in as you see, here, here's our cable. Um, where it's going to end up is on this wall instead. So, really the best thing to do is run the cables underneath the wiring harness. So you're not in that, this cable's way. Straighten it out and put all of it on the other side so you can actually reach it. Leave slack. Yeah, leave slack. Um, these cables aren't going to um, intertwine or anything. They're all really well cable managed because right at this point where we're at with the play field then you pick it up. So it's not going to get in the way where it is right there. So here we are inside. So this is where we start hooking the wires in here and there and there and there. And this is how I start. I plug in at the connection, goes into the uh, connection board up front, 
And then what I do is I loop it through the first hook there, and then I hook it there and there and there. So so at the end, you'll have slack in the back that you can um, that can you can lay out so nothing ever gets hung up there and it doesn't um, um, pull the cords inside the back box. It, it really never should. Um, cords don't really move much once they're installed except for uh, the harness from the play field to the back box when you move them. And there it is. So we got the hook below, and that one, and that one, and that one. And then you run it to there. And that's how much slack we have left, which is wonderful. So you can do whatever you want inside. Um, take that cord and pull it and cable management, but don't attach it to the, the wiring harness. Just let it, if anything, you could run from this end to that end right there along that wood <clears throat> and hook it to, uh, yeah, put another hook or something in there if you want to get crafty. Okay, this is how I ended up my cable management. Last hook over there, and it has a nice slack over here. And it curly cues right there and goes straight up to the cabinet. I forgot there's one last hook you can put it to. I guess I, don't, I really have to do this. It's right there. Uh, it's fine. You can hook it there as well. But again, make sure it's, it doesn't bind up with anything else or hook up with anything else. Because uh, all these cables need a free flow move around. And that is it. All the cables are in place. Now you can take a 110 volt, it usually says 115 volt bill acceptor. I, I usually use a Mars um, MEI brand. <clears throat> For route, I always recommend take, having ones that take modern fives and more. You'll rarely get a 20, you'll rarely get a 10, you'll rarely get a 2, but as any operator knows, you will get. Uh, ones and fives, ones and fives, and uh, th those fives, some people want to put a five in, they don't want to put one, one, ones, and, and quarters, 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 tokens, 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 they, they want to put a five in, um, uh, and they want to get to it, they, they don't want to just uh, um, play with change and, and one dollar bills, and this is the, yeah, this is the New Stern Godzilla Pro. I put the tilt graphics, ramp, stickers. I have a. The only Titan I have on here is a. It's a glow in the dark post ring. Uh, usually I leave them as the posts. As these posts. These are plastic. So Stern has these on most modern games because the ball will roll off of it instead of bounce. Do air balls. The rest of the kit is yellow, safety yellow, super band brand. You can get these many places like Marco and um, <clears throat> Coin Taker. These are, from what I remember, two and three quarter inch. So standard size, standard size. These are the bigger um, nub ones. Uh, the bigger size is a smaller and a bigger size if you want them. I can't remember that exact size. This, I remember it was, uh, I believe this is one and a half. And that's the ring kit, really. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I double that up. Eleven, and then twelve. So this is a twelve ring kit. I added this. I know this is plastic usually, but I kind of want it to bounce off there instead. Well, that's enough for this video. I'm excited to see what this does on location with the new online play. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it does.